Hi, welcome to another fantastic episode of Tim's Antique Trains. Well, I finally got my layout base put together and have the flyer track laid out pretty much the way I want it. The original table was 6 feet by 12 feet, and that would be okay if I was only running the flyer trains. But trains going in circles gets boring really fast, so I added on. This section you have seen in previous videos. So the next section of layout will probably end up having some primarily S scale buildings and the like, including some Plasticville USA buildings, like the ones featured here except for the station. And the layout finally comes out in a six foot long peninsula, which I hope to build some kind of hill or mountain on. The plan is to actually make the flyer track elevated and run the HO loop underneath the flyer, but we'll see if that will work later. I have a neat little western town which is all handmade. We might look at that in a future video. For now, I'd like to show you how the trains look running here. All aboard! So I decided it would be more fun to put the camera on the train and run it around behind my northern engine. I plan to do more of these videos in the future, especially when the layout is mostly finished. This is just an experiment to see if it would even work, and after some trial and error, it did. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoops, time to replace the couplers on the circus train. I don't know if there's a way to fix couplers that just let loose and unhook themselves, but I know I can get replacement parts on eBay. Well, what do you know? A box arrived from eBay. Let's unbox it quick before the video ends. Okay, there's newspaper packing, and a bag of parts, and more newspaper packing. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, you forgot to finish the unboxing. Aren't you going to open the bag of parts and inspect it? Oh well, some other time I guess. Anyway, thanks to all my subscribers for watching. Bye.